Hey, 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 hey. Stop, okay? I have an early morning tomorrow. Oh, baby. I'm tired. Baby, let's try it tonight. I'm ovulating. Mm -hmm. You're ovulating? Mm -hmm. How long have you been trying for? How long? 12 years. So, if nothing happened those 12 years, what makes you think that this night now, this ovulation now, will make anything happen? Mm -hmm. Your wife, and so, listen, sleeping with you is even beginning to make me feel like as if I'm living with a man. Oh, really? Yes. So you're sharing your bed with a man, Abby? I'm oh, serious. Well, I'm sharing my bed with a woman, too. Nonsense. <laughs> it's like you, you, you have power for fights, Abby. You have power to quarrel. I'm sure about the woman, nonsense. Let me catch you. <laughs> hey, babe, I'm so sorry, Kay. Then it come out right. I, I didn't mean to get you upset or angry this evening. I was just in a bad mood. Oh, really? So every time you're in a bad mood, I get to bear the brunt of it. Can we not do this right now? Come to bed. No. Thank you very much. I'm perfectly fine where I am. Really? 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 Okay then. Fine. After all, I play a good match. But unfortunately, you're a very bad goalkeeper. And that's not my fault. I will sleep fine without you. Stay here! Oh, welcome. Um, dinner is ready. Should I set the I'm table? I'm not hungry. I've eaten already. Without breakfast, I was just about to place your food on the table. Eat it. Looks like you need it. Has it come to this?
Dinner is ready. Should I set the table? I'm hungry. Are you rejecting my food? Because you've been doing this for some days now and you're making me waste food. Well, I have been wasting sperm for the past 12 years. Have I been complaining? No. I see. So everything is now related to childbearing. It's okay. I'll stop cooking for you. I'll just leave you alone to take care of yourself. Yes, of course. I am a man. I can take care of myself. I know my way to the kitchen, okay? So, thank you. Of course. Madam Lydia, yes. I placed an order for some food. Okay, it's been processed. Please, how long would that take? Because I'm very hungry. I'm famished. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you. Just tell them to hurry up, okay? Why are you guys so unprofessional? I ordered for food. You told me for five minutes. Now it's three hours. No food. What's happening? I cancelled that order. Why would I cancel that order when I'm so hungry I can eat anything right now? Anyway, when is it going to be ready? What? Your kitchen has closed. What should I do now? I'm sorry. Hello? Hello? Hey. Ah, 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 ah. I'm supposed to do this one now.
thought you'd be sad that I did not eat your food. I only ate it because I'm trying to save you the whole embarrassment and displeasure. But don't get it twisted though. I am only being the responsible husband that I am. breakfast at the office. I don't know about you. Meaning what? I am the man of this house and your husband. I am expected to eat before going to work. You understand? Well, you stopped eating in the morning, so I stopped cooking. Did I do anything wrong? You're a bad wife. Yes. As a good wife, you're expected to keep cooking for your husband until he now eats. One day, eventually, I might eat. Oh, one day. Oh, okay. When that day comes, let me know and then I'll cook. But until then, I will only cook when I feel like it. So I'll start my own house. Uh, uh. Yeah, you are the one that was boasting about how you can take care of yourself and you know your way around the kitchen. Well, darling husband, use the kitchen. It's not gender sensitive. Bye-bye. Mm. Is uh, dinner ready? I got back from work no long ago and I'm really tired. Okay. How about um, we we'll step out and do dinner? Really? Yeah, just, you know. Go out to a fancy restaurant, do dinner, bottle of wine. Okay. Look, let's just forget about the past and you know, just make ourselves better. Anyway, I'll go change and you should too. I don't understand. I mean, I hope you're able to conceive, you know. Oh, that depends. Are you going to get me pregnant? How do I know? Am I good? Neither am I. Listen, if this is not going to be of any use, then might as well stop us. Oh, you know what, Steve? I'm sick and I'm tired of all this nonsense. The last time I checked, I have been pregnant four times. And I miscarried every single one of those times. We agreed to use a sorry date, but that didn't work out. Now we're trying to get pregnant on our own and it's not working out either. So why are you acting like it's my fault? Why are you acting like the only reason we are together is to have kids? Listen. I know what we are good on. Right? And now we are ready and nothing is stopping us. But if it doesn't seem like you're ready, then what's the point then? Why am I wasting my nights with you? Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Well, I'm ready. I'm willing. And I'm waiting. Plant the seed and see whether it will not germinate. Why, 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 why did I even say that in the first place? All 
I said that to her. What is wrong with me at this time? Oh God, I'm such a big fool. A big fool, a big idiot. That was I thinking. What sort of question is that? How will you be asking your own children who they are? Is that a game or something? Wait, why do you kids keep referring to us as mom and dad? Because, because you are! What? Did you two send us on a holiday with Auntie Jessie only to forget about us? Mom, you told us to come back for dance birthday the day after tomorrow. So what's all this? Let's go to our room. I'm sure this drama will be over soon. children that you went to God knows where to bring other people's children into our house. What are you talking about? Oh, I see what you're doing now. You're trying to get me to father those kids, right? Because you think I'm desperate for children. No, I don't know them. Neither do I. So, if we don't know them, who are then who they? Are they? You did. How did I decorate it when I was with you? Well, I was with you too, so who did? Something fishy going on here. First of all, we need to find out who these kids are, why they are here, and why they think we are their parents. is not going to give you the answers to your questions. Are you any better? What do we do? We throw them out. Period. I know now. They are children. That would be wrong. So what do we do? We? Yeah. Last time I checked, we were married. Oh, now we are married, eh? Now I'm your wife. Because you've been treating me like a baby factory. Oh. Is that why you sent your village to bring these kids here? Eh, those children look like they are from your own village, and I trust your village people to pull a stunt like this. Well, if you have forgotten, we are now from my village. Eh, 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 I beg, I beg, I beg. Let everybody just face their own village at this point. I have an idea. Eh, 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 please. You and all those are terrible ideas. What about you? Come up with an idea now. Come up with an idea. Oh, I forgot. Your head is fully trash. Oh, my head is fully trash. Your head! It's full of trash too. Because in case you have forgotten, two have become one. I have it. Let's call the police. Yes, that way they'll get them out of the house and they'll take so care this, of them. So this, this is the big idea you have. This is the idea you actually have. This is the best idea to come up with in this your small head. Cut the foolish. Do you have a better idea? Actually, no. I thought so. Let's go. Thank you for coming. Please, we need your help. 
We are the kids. They're inside. Okay, let me speak to them. Just stay here. Okay. I need to find out the truth from them. You know there are lots of kids pulling out stunts these days. Okay, please, I'll be right back. Thank, Thank you. you. Morning, Ma. Frozen. Are you here to see our parents? Who are your parents? Mr. and Mrs. Steve Gunnar. How are they your parents? They gave birth to us. That's how. And what proof do you have they are your parents? This. Is this your family photo? Is there a problem, madam? Because it looks like your eyes are not working properly. Maybe she walked all night and has not gotten rest. These things happen. like you are the reason why their children run away from home with the slightest chance they get meaning people are begging for children and you want to send yours away what kind of parents are you madam shouldn't we have this conversation in english why do you want to send them away they are both beautiful and smart kids and i'm sure they are obedient too you just wasted the agency's time and it's not nice the next time you try this I will arrest you both. So what you talking to us? <laughs> That's not the question we should be asking. And what we should be asking right now is what they said to her to make her turn against us. Good point. Let's go find out because I might break somebody's head. I'll get your head broken. <laughs> Um, kids, uh, you really haven't told us anything about you, so um, what are your names? Is everyone losing their memory around here? Mom, where are your children? Sandra and Liam! No, no, no. Let's go straight to the question. What did the kids tell the lady that got her pissed off? Oh, she came in here asking us stupid questions as to who our parents are. And they don't show the family pictures. <laughs> what pictures? Do this. The sooner you stop asking me stupid questions and find a solution, then the better for all of us. Where did the kids get this picture from and how? Mom, Dad, shouldn't this drama be over by now? Come on, it's not funny anymore. Exactly, it's not funny anymore. Now, I want you both to leave this house now. This is our father's house. If anyone has to leave, it's the both of you. You two should go back to your father's house. Since you returned, you've been acting strange. Don't you want us in your lives anymore? Wait, wait, wait! wait. Stand by and watch them cry. I'm a woman. Yeah, and I'm the bad person now. I'm the bad one here, right? Listen, this whole thing is just, it's giving me a headache. It's making my head hurt. We didn't go to work today because of them. Thank God tomorrow is a Saturday. Maybe we can rest. 
it, it's better we just let these kids go before things get worse. Yes, but we can't involve the police again. The proof is against us. So what do we do? I don't know. But before we call the police, we need to have proof that they aren't our kids. give birth. Where do they register it? The hospital. Good. And since we've been using one hospital for everything, we can go to them for proof that we don't have any kids. You are beginning to have small sense, so. Since I came into your life, your ability to reason has improved. Are you insulting me? Is it a lie? Is it a lie? Will you, you two lie? ever stop arguing? What the hell are you? <laughs> Sandra, don't mind your dad here. You know, he likes to annoy me, so what do you expect me to do? Dad? Well, you two can continue. But please, don't get into a fight. We don't have the strength to separate the both of you. You two act like kids sometimes. Why are you encouraging uh, this? If you want to catch a thief, you have to think and act like a thief. So, if we want to catch kids, we should act like kids. I just gave you a compliment. I said you were beginning to have small sense. Don't make me take it back, please. Mind I talk to me? Mm. They're really insulting. I beg, I beg. They're really insulting. I beg, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. I was on a ward round. Uh, how are you doing? How are the kids? Kids? Mm -hmm. Sandra and Liam, how are they doing? It's been long I saw them, you know. Very smart kids. Are you okay, doctor? Did these kids bribe you? What are you talking about? Who bribed me? We don't have any kids. And you know this, so why are you asking us about kids that we don't have? What are you saying? I was on duty the day you delivered. So, are you now the doctor that attended to her when she was giving that? What is the problem with both of you? Okay, now I know you've lost it, doctor. <laughs> I'm uh, certain. Okay. okay, hold on, hold on. So, you attended to me the day I gave birth, right? Of course. So, there should be some sort of record, there should be sure, some file sure. that proves that, right? We'd like to see it. Please bring it. <laughs> One minute. They're going crazy. I don't understand. Here. What is all this about? What's really going on? How possible is this? What's wrong with you guys? Why are you behaving as if you've seen a ghost? Is that even a question? Did you say something, Dad? I am not sure. Uh, what is it, kids? What do you want? Mom, we'd like to have our ice cream now. Um, okay, then I'll just come and give it to you.
What is wrong with this woman? We're here trying to solve a mystery and she's there helping them out. Freshen up, then come down and we'll have the party started. <laughs> Something for us all to eat. Oh, that'll be great. Mm -hmm. I haven't had your food in a while. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the kids will love it. I'm mm, sure they will. If I finally find out what an amazing cook your mom is. Had this much fun in a while. <laughs> Me too. Like, this is the life I have always wanted. Just me, you, kids. I've always wanted this life too. I mean, we felt like we're getting married all over again. 
<sighs> For some reason, I'm so attached to them. I don't feel like letting them go. But they aren't ours. I'm sorry for putting all the blame on you all these years. Making you feel like you're the reason why we're going to have kids. But all of that is about to change. What am I doing here? Uh, I didn't sleep here. What? How did I end up in the guest room? I'm surprised myself that you're not here. But what?
Good morning, ma. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. Do you remember us? Sandra and Liam. We met last night. Good evening, ma. Good evening, sir. I'm Sandra, and this is my brother, Liam. Please, ma, can you help us with any amount of money? Please, we have not eaten all day. Please, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you so much. God bless you, ma. May you grant all your heart desires. So we decided to bring the wallet here. Sorry, we had to use the money inside the wallet as transport fare. It's fine. Uh, um, sit down and make yourselves comfortable. and then I realized you aren't. I haven't forgot to just met them yesterday. I don't even know what is even real and what is fake. Listen, I don't care. I just want to be with them. Before we do about any of that, we need to know who they really are. We can't just jump into it. Um, let's go and ask them then. Are you sure? Let's go. Baby, let's go. <clears throat> so, um, who are you kids and why are you out on the streets? Well, we are Sandra and Liam. We are twins and orphaned. We used to stay in an orphanage, but then the orphanage caught fire and killed so many. We survived, but nobody cares about us. So we decided to go into the streets to beg. How old are you? Eleven. And you don't know anything about your parents? The matron told us that we were found outside the orphanage on the 1st of January during a heavy downpour. And our mother left us a note, but we weren't told the content of the note. What orphanage is this? Saint Teresa's Orphanage. It's okay, eat. Baby, what's the matter? Why are you crying? the mother be so cruel. Look at me. 
I'm here begging God for the fruit of the womb. And then a mother, a mother screws those, those beautiful children away. Why is God so partial? I want children. Let him give them to me. Baby. Why give children to someone who doesn't want them? Baby, baby. God is not partial. He is God. And let him be God. He has not forgotten us. Okay? Stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> So we um we thought very carefully about everything you told us and um we'd like to ask you how you'd feel about coming to live with us. How do you mean? She means would you like to live with us here in this house? Well, if you ask like that, we will be forced to say yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so in that case then, um, we we'll have to get you new things, um, new clothes, video game, that's, you know, things to make you settle in. How do you feel about that? Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, let's go get you a change of clothes. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried. Yes, we saw these kids in our dreams. But... We also need to verify what they said. If we want them in our lives, if we want to adopt these kids, we have to do that legally to avoid any issues. Yeah. You have a point. I think we need to go to that orphanage that he spoke about, you know, to find out more about them. Yeah, you're right. I have no doubts that they're telling the truth. But for legal purposes, let's just do a little bit more check. We can go tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow then. Um, my name is Emma and this is my husband, Steve. We're here in respect of Liam and Sandra. They were said to have grown up at St. Teresa's orphanage, um, the one you used to run. And we came to find out more about them. Yes, um, when we found them, we decided to take them home with us. And they told us about this um, orphanage. And we decided to come find out more about this place and how they got here. Yes, uh, father already hinted me. We found them outside the orphanage, one fits for me. So, what does the letter say? So, according to the letter, she was a surrogate mother to a couple she did not know of. Whoever that is reading this letter, please take good care of my children. They are so innocent. And this is my story. There is no big deal. It is not a big deal. See, all I want you to do is just to help carry the baby. There will be no complications or, or problems at all. Just trust me. I don't understand this whole thing. This whole thing is not sounding good in my ears. Everything seems off to me. There is nothing off about this. It's as clear as possible. Listen, listen, babe. Everything has been taken care of. Okay? It's just pregnancy. Pregnancy! Pregnancy they are calling just... You carry it now. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Babe, this couple are willing to pay a whopping sum of 2 million naira. Yes! 2 million! Just for this! Listen, babe. 
You know what this money can do for us. This money will go a long way. And, and, and especially, if, you know, the money will speed up our preparation, our wedding preparations. Don't you want to marry me? Of course I want to marry, but still. Just, just, no buts. Let's just do it. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Come on, baby. Just, just say yes, okay? Let's just do it. Trust me. You know, you know, just say yes. Did I hear him correctly? Two million naira. Or oh, more. That kind of money could change your life. Oh. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. And God knows we really need this money badly. What harm will it cause? After all, my boyfriend is okay with it. This is a sign that God wants us to get married. He has said it now that if we collect this money, he will marry me. Is he not to carry the baby and burn it for them? And when the baby is born, they carry their kaya and me and Jesus will live happily. Just tell me already, have you made up your mind? I don't like this suspense. Have you made up your mind? Yeah? Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Yes! Come on, baby! Oh my god! Yes! Now we can go ahead with the marriage plans, right? I can't wait to be the bride, the man, the, man, the groom! <laughs> oh my god! Thank you so much, baby! Ah! Finally! No, baby, I hope nothing will go wrong. No, go, no, never! Never! Nothing will ever go wrong. Okay? How, how does the process work? Okay, okay, listen. You don't have to do anything, babe. Okay? You, it, it's just um, the doctors will, will collect the, the woman's egg that is going to be fertilized for uh, with the man's spam and then they will just insert it in your in your womb all you just need to do is to carry the baby trust me nothing will go wrong and and we just get our two million naira. cash two million yeah and trust me it's a painless procedure you don't have to you're not going to feel any pain at all okay the, the moment it's been confirmed that you're pregnant, after the procedure, then they'll pay it. Mm. Just like that. <laughs> you see, but do you know the, the, the best part of it is? You don't even have to see the couple. You don't have to sleep with no man. You don't have to see them. The only time you're going to see them is after you put to bed and they'll just come and take their baby. Okay? That's just it. I will go ahead with our two million naira. <laughs> babe, 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 you, you see what I'm telling you? I've been telling you to open an account for situations like this. Now you don't have an account. How do we do it? They should put the money into your account now. And let me open my own account. Into my account? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, now. Into my account. Is the money not for us? Of course it's our money. <laughs> oh my god, baby, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, I see Titi. Now you? Ah, good morning. Good morning. I don't they knock since nobody answered. I beg James Dales. Which kind of question are you ask me? Oh. You want to tell me say no no say your oh, guardian is on park come up for this house. James James come up for which this house? When? Where? He packed three months ago. He not tell anybody when they go. Auntie Titi? Auntie Titi? Auntie Titi? Mm -hmm. Oh, no problem.
morning, no, sir. Good morning. I'm here to see Dr. Charles Ibe. Did I hear you say Dr. Charles Ibe? Yes. I saw him last five months ago, thereabouts. And my next appointment with him is today. Anyways, Dr. Charles Ibe passed on last week. He was involved in a car accident. Did you say pastor nurse? Ha! Are you alright? from here what have I gotten myself into just have killed me it kept me in this condition it brought me into this mess oh god I don't even know where to look at the people responsible for this pregnancy he has flew away with the money How do I take care of myself I'm ruined. I'm doomed forever. <laughs> Wait, why do I get people responsible for this baby? No, Dr. Charles Bay is dead. <laughs> Let me tell you this. The present state of your pregnancy has outgone <clears throat> the state of termination. <laughs> but I would advise you, if you dare try to abort this pregnancy of yours, you have a slim chance of surviving. And you will lose your own baby return. So why don't you allow the child to survive? Lose your own permanently. Like without remedy. <sighs> Doctor, you do not understand. Oh my god. I would advise that you don't use this little predicament to rumble, to destroy the entire food. You say no another way. I, there's nothing to think about. I can't keep this baby. Lady, if you try this, you may lose your own power. Are you deaf? Despite all we have done for you in this house, is this how you want to repay us? Who is responsible for your pregnancy? Who? Titi, you know, you disappoint me. What? Since you don't want to say who is responsible for your pregnancy, that's okay. Uh, I mean, since the person is capable of making you pregnant, that same person is capable of taking care of you and that thing you're carrying. Yes. Because I can't have you in this house. Oh, are you ready? No, I was not ready. I was not ready. Good. Good. 
good. At least that would have been a different case entirely. I believe you are very wise. So, tell us who is the person. Will you speak before I speak? <laughs> Who is James? Who is? Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Sweetheart. All right. Let's let's take her to jail. No, I don't know where he is. You. For you. Seriously, you want both of us to take care of that little bastard in your stomach? Really? You know what? Before I count one to five, I want you to go in there and pack all of your belongings and get out of my house. We are not ready to raise a bastard in this house. Don't out of that. Please, sir. I need a job. I don't think I have a suitable job for you with this condition. Condition? Sir, I don't have a condition. I'm physically fit. I can do any job. It's cleaning job. And it will be stressful for you. Cleaning job? I'm very good at that. Where is it? Let me start. Yes, sir. If you say so. When can you start? Ah, I can start now, 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 now. Ah. What is wrong? It's just that I don't have a place I'm staying. I don't know if I can stay here for the meantime while I'm working. Okay. Where have you been staying? Huh. If I tell you, you will not believe. I've been staying in the shop, people shop. I will Hang around whenever they go, I will just go and sleep there. My things are uh, they are still by the corner, your own woman shop. Okay. Then you have to tidy the bar. And please, I don't want to see anybody when it's closed. This place, I will make it so spotless. I don't have family. I don't have friends. So nobody is coming to look for me. Stressing yourself like this. 
Have you had something to eat? To eat. Babe, you walk by yourself, me. All right. Wait, let me get you something to eat, okay? me you I will advise you to take them to the motherless baby's home at least they'll be well taken care of or sell them off to couples looking for children or better still throw them away and move on with your life how can you say such a thing throw away the children I brought forth It wants me, I can't do it though. It's going to haunt me forever. If they were your children, will you will you throw them away? I'm just saying, the final decision is yours to take. I was only making a suggestion. So, um, when is their birthday? And please, what's the name of the doctor? His name is Dr. Charles Sibe from Convenant Hospital. Charles. 
Doctor, this is what miscarriage is having. What, what, what's going on? It's common with many women. We have one common solution. Really? What is it? Bed rest. She needs total bed rest when she's pregnant. For some women, once they're in their second trimester, they are out of risk. While for others, they need total bed rest until they give birth. So, you're saying that she has to stop working for now? No, 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 that's not even an option. I'm going in for the managerial position at work, and you know how long I've wanted this, and it's a good paying job. I, I, I worked really hard to get the job, so that's not even an option right I now. That. Please, there has to be another way. Then we have to opt for surrogacy. Surrogacy? Yes. Actually, we do not do that here. But on the outside, I do it. I'm a woman. I want to carry my own baby. No. I know you want to carry your own child. But there's a lot against you. I don't want you to lose your job or the position you deserve. That another woman to carry your baby it doesn't make her the mother. It's still our semen. That another woman carries our baby does not make her the mother. It's still your egg and my semen. I know. Listen, if this works, it will make a lot of sense. But I want to carry my baby myself. Babe, I understand that. But not this one. We have tried. We have tried. Maybe the second and the third. But for now, not this one. Please. Well, I'm happy you've decided to do this. But this has to remain between us. I'll get the girl and uh, commence the procedure. But she will not meet you and you will not meet her. She will get her money through me. That way, there is no contact between you and her. This is my principle. But our baby is I mean, someone that... Fair you know, enough. You know, so there won't be any future complications or whatever. But yes, but it kind of makes sense. Well, I think uh, your husband understands me better. Since both of you have agreed to this, let's get the ball rolling. Um, I'm sorry, but uh, Dr. Charles had an accident a week ago. He didn't make it. But whatever it is you want, I can assist. Are you by any chance saying that the kids are yours? Um, yes. I feel it deep within me. Yes, I think so too. Though we are not so sure. But everything about the story tallies. It might just be mere coincidence. I don't know how to feel right now. But we have to be sure that the kids are yours before we can proceed. So, um, how do we do that? But Uncle, why are we here? Check up. We need to take your blood samples and make sure you have no hidden illness. But why? Because you have been on this for too long and you've had too much junk in your system. We want to make sure you live a long and healthy life. Okay. 
That is a good idea. But after the checkup, are we going back to the streets? No, 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 no. You won't be going back to the streets. Are we going to stay with you then? Well, it depends. But first, let's run the test. All right then, come in. I know I've never asked you for anything. Because somehow you always know what I want before I even ask. And you give it to me. But today I want to ask you for something. I ask that the DNA result comes out positive and that these children turn out to be the children that we lost all those years ago. Amen. I wish they are our parents. This house will be ours. Even this room too. Stop dreaming big. Let's just enjoy it while they allow us to stay here. They are nice people. I wish to have them as parents. Life would be a lot better. We will stop living under the bridge and putting ourselves at risk. I believe God has a hand in everything that is happening. Let yeah. us allow him to decide that which he has decided to do. Yeah. Why are you still awake? It's past midnight. It's been years we've slept on a bed. It seems kind of strange. Well, would you like me to sing your song so that you can sleep? Yeah. That would be nice. Okay. Do you know any song you want me to sing for you? Oh, I know one. Lord, you reign forever. You're the same. I got my turkey, mama. You lifted me. You gave me a song. I got my turkey, mama. Mama, I I want those kids. I really want them, Steve. I don't know what we are going to do or how we are going to do it. But I want those kids. We'll get them. We'll definitely get them. But let's just wait till tomorrow. So know the truth. I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining, it's fine, it's gonna happen.
I'm not, what's the what's the result of the test? Um, tell me what I want to hear, please. Emma, calm down. Yes. Listen, we have a test, okay? Once you know, yes. I do like kids or not. The DNA samples taken from you both and the children shows a 99.99 .99 match. So, they are your children. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We are sorry. We are sorry for what exactly? The dark nights we spent on empty stomachs. Or the wet nights. And we have to sleep in the rain, which we never have to see the next day. Or maybe you are sorry for the humiliation and beatings we get from people when we beg them for food. Which one are you sorry for? Everything. We are sorry. We are so sorry for everything you had to go through because we weren't there for you. We are sorry. Kids, listen. We wish we could turn back the hands of time. But we beg for your forgiveness and take us back as your parents. Just like that. You want us into your lives just like that. Please. Please. We didn't know you existed. We were trying to have children and I kept having miscarriage after miscarriage. The doctor suggested surrogacy and he was the link. We never even met the surrogate. But then he died. And then we didn't have any information. We didn't know, we did not know anything. We were in the dark. We, we had no idea what was going on. Please, 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 we didn't know about you. We're so sorry. Please. That's what we need to do to make things right. Please just tell us what we need to do. Anything. On no condition. What? what? Anything. We'll do anything. Just name it. Anything. Give us a hug. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 